as well, because that's where all of these matches are going to go. Speaking of which, this one right here is going to be Grand Finals game number one. Johnny versus Jake started things off. It's going to be a bit of a struggle for Johnny to navigate around Jake. It's going to be on him to figure him out as the match goes. And if he doesn't, Jake is going to have a free ride to a victory. However, the way that Johnny played against Rob, I have a lot of faith right now. Oh, look, well, speaking of the devil, man, you know it. He's going to keep using that armor. But before I get to the rest of this match, man, I know you guys want to hear me talk about the match because that's important but i want to give all the important things to of course many of you anybody who supports the smash scene especially because you know how hard it is to support smash scene nowadays yeah, i gotta give them the credit man many of you are great partner and are having a great app because you know me i live my busy life doing the things that i do but many of you makes it all easy with one great place to watch it through so shout out to many of you for all the support but let's get back on here to johnny if you guys are wondering how johnny got here my sister did dq out of losers finals and this gave johnny the buy here into grand finals it is monkey time here but that unfortunately is so hard to get around that yeah. trap is so good against heavies especially people who have bad led, well, bad ledge get up options but one of the best ways to deal with that is dropping off of ledge and waiting a second because you anticipated them doing it dk can't do that so that was a great job from jake also jake keeping this pressure up going straight to 80 alex can do the same thing that like bayo could do to heavy characters you get one up tilt and they're going straight to like 60 and that's something he's gonna have to accept every time yeah, the one thing that's going to be really hard for Johnny is he can't treat this like Rob. Effectively, the tether grab that Jake has with Steve makes it infinitely much more easier to punish uh, use, the use of armor. Oh. But what a great use of just having that distance between one another gets the forest smash. Johnny, 126? If, oh, I was going to say, this might be the stop. Yeah. Yeah, there, there, was not, there was literally nothing he could do there outside of, like, instantly... Like, he would need to be a little bit higher to maybe up air to challenge Jake. The problem is, and where he was, if he tried to up air to challenge him, if he even could, uh, he would have free fell because he wouldn't be able to activate up B fast enough. So that's that, that's what makes this match apart. Like, minecart is so good. And that's why, like, you have to find the startup of where Alex throws it out and somehow navigate around it. But this look at the way Jake is option coveraging, frame trapping over and over again. Uh, this is going to be a real pain, and that is another hey, mine part right pain. into his face. <laughs> You were wrong, man. I like how you just timed this perfectly. It was a real pain, and unfortunately, the real pain just happened to happen at the wrong time here, and that minecart was definitely all up in DK's face. Yeah, it's it's just it, it, it's, some matchups. <clears throat> it's very similar to like the game watch we saw earlier, right? Steve just does such a good job of invalidating like unsafe landing. So if you constantly swing on landing, it makes it hard. So one of the things that Johnny kind of has to do is he needs to pressure with things like back air, but at a safe range, and then get that shield low enough that he can scare with usages of side B or grounded down B. We saw the down B used really well against both Rob and Bowser before. So if he could find a way to do that, he's gonna be good. Now that's yeah. gonna also make Jake camp behind some blocks if he starts doing it a lot. But that's better than taking a bunch of hits, which you can use to reestablish your pressure game. Exactly. You have to kind of give and take the situation of how things go. Even if a situation doesn't look 100% winnable for you, even that small victory, like you said, when you start to force your opponent to go for certain things, it's not that half bad. You have to consider that. One thing that we have to consider also from Jake is his ability to just go for a grab every single time Johnny has tried to go for side B as a landing option, because he can just punish that. And that's one thing that Johnny has to start considering. He can armor through some things on against Steve, but he can't armor through everything, because he'll leave himself vulnerable. And unfortunately, that stock loss that down, the down tilt oh it's not how you want to see that is so good against linear recoveries it literally just makes you free fall after you get hit by that it becomes a pain uh one of the things also that i really want to see out of johnny remember before i was complaining how he consistently just kept going for those charge punches at the ledge off of b reverses he's doing it again here that throw is a good way to get him a stock though but yeah, he needs to is. start he needs to keep that giant punch for up close to personal trades. He, like, he can't just keep going for it in the same position because nobody's falling for it right now. Use it as a way, like he's using these upbeats from ledge, as a way to challenge and beat him out with armor. Yeah, that's the one thing too that you'll see from Jake. He'll go for spot dodge, ah, ah, like that. You'll see that spot dodge come out and he'll try to go for a punish on Johnny. The good thing for Johnny to use that up like you said, from the ledge, because even if he does go for a spot dodge up to spot dodge forward smash, that armor is gonna be supplemental to helping him get back towards center stage. That, that pressure at the ledge is so annoying, too. Yeah, and also, like, J Jake is the king of spot dodge F smash, but it's so strong, you abuse it. There's no reason not to. Well, yeah. like, Jake is just simplifying the game. He, he understands Donkey Kong has one answer to me. 
getting in. He has to approach. And my frame data and my swings are much faster. And you're dead. Oh, oh, never mind. The DNT decided to wait. I like the fact almost every time I've said Johnny's dead, it saved his life. So maybe, maybe you're the lifesaver for that. Johnny. Maybe, yeah, I was going to say, maybe you're saving Johnny's life in reality. Oh, no. Yeah, that, that ain't going to do it. Because even if you happen to get through uh, the TNT, the down smash covers a uh, get up option as well. That's why that setup is so busted. Uh, you get covered from the TNT explosion. The down smash covers jump. Literally, the best thing you could do there is you have to drop down and get away yeah. it, which you can't do that and not or, every character has those tools yeah that in, in this matchup you know, like the best thing you have going for you if you're lucky if the if you time it right rising side b and that's it and you have to hope uh because yeah. it'll armor through at least the startup of the tnt and hopefully in the midst of that you hit uh you hit jake with the side b so it stops the down smash that's that's the one answer you have there I agree with Hammer, bro. This matchup is definitely this matchup is hot dog water. Oh, this matchup is hot doo doo. Like this, yeah, yeah, it, it is hot dog no water, way. bro. There's it, no other way to put it. But also, it, it, you can lose winning matchups. It happens, uh, and, and it's on Jake to make sure that he doesn't misbehave. Oh no, and that's so rough too, because you can tell Johnny had the right mindset there. Go for up to get the armor, and then up out of shields. There's a lot of up out of shields in the game that are just really good for out of shield options hard part is man jake's up mm -hmm. to pressure is just so relentless and it's so good from steve that it just pretty much cancels that all out altogether. yeah and you saw a second ago again like uh, john I, I like the difference of where johnny's trying to do it it's just in the wrong spot but johnny tried to use that giant punch as a way to answer jake on landing but yeah oh yeah there you go there you go that time he waited before he could use the defensive option i didn't even think about jump air dodge that was actually a good mix-up now jake is probably gonna try and call it out with a back air yeah oh, man that is so hard that's so uh... hard to get away from life jake is just jake is just putting on a textbook showcase as to why the minecraft crew is so good against heavies and that's just a testament to like the one the match being bad but two jake's skill he's just really shutting down all johnny wants to do right now Oh, what a read, too. I was going to say, every single time, Johnny, he has to watch out. I think at this point, Johnny has to know I can't go for landing side B unless I know for certain it's going to hit Jake. Because look, every single time he's trying to go for it, Jake gets that punish afterwards. It may be worth it at first, but not worth it as a whole. Up smash will finally connect. Like I said, at this time, it's sure. Because Jake, you know for sure he's going to be going for an option at the ledge. And Johnny can easily call it out. But that's the one scenario that it's only worked so far. Uh, if only, if only Jake got knocked away far, a little bit further, he had a chance to use either Giant Punch or Cup B again, as we see right here. Now, is he going to be able to call him out? Oh, I like the idea. I thought he was going to try and go for, like, a high recovery down air to just, like, punish him for it. That's dead. Oh, never mind. He still had his jump. I thought he ripped his jump. I thought that was supposed to be a super anticlimactic way to shut down the match. <laughs> Speaking of calling out a jump, going to force him at the ledge again. He already air dodged before. Jake tried to pull the trigger early to call out, uh, call it out preemptively. That's another stock. To oh, never mind. Oh, he, he was close. at seventy percent. Yeah. So yeah. he, he could. I thought he was gonna be able to forward smash him, but he was still low enough percent. Oh, great use of armor there. Up smash. Johnny slowly bringing things back here. One oh six. Okay. Look, I don't right, want to put up, out of the cards for Johnny, now, but we'll see how things go. Down. He starts off nice though. Yeah. This is now. This this is. A full DLC mode. Diamond on deck. This is a problem. Uh, then Cargo Punch being gone, also a problem. We did see Johnny run it back in a similar situation fighting against Ape Man before. So it is still doable if he catches him. <gasps> Don't challenge oh, it! No! no. <laughs> Don't challenge that. Uh, I don't know how many times I gotta scream that into the mic every single week. Folks, if you see a Steve, Alex, Enderman, whatever the flavor is that they chose to pick, if you see them upbeat into center stage, grounded, run. Run. Don't challenge it because yeah. they can easily act out of it. It's very quick. Jake caught him. It's a good bait. He didn't do it at all throughout the set. So it caught Johnny off guard. That was the first time he pulled it off. And that was a good way to hold on to it too because I was able to mix him up. Johnny had a great run. But Jake is a king of consistency right now.